When I was a kid, you'll never guess what I wanted to do when I was older. I might have briefly wanted to be a footballer, I might have briefly wanted to be whatever this is, but I realised pretty early on that wasn't going to happen. No, when I was a child, I wanted to have an office job. There wasn't even the urge to run the business. An office job was all I expected. As you can tell, I was a bit of a dreamer. But the closer I got to that dream, the more I feared the office grind. I spent some of university starting and quitting business ideas, with a grand total of three limited companies and zero pounds made. So I went into my childhood dream. I worked for a bank for three years, the office job. And in the meantime, I started getting into self-improvement and YouTube and other things around business. And frankly, I wasn't succeeding with any of it. So I began to look at self-improvement in a different way. No listening to social media, no following the crowd, just focusing on what I wanted and making it as easy as possible to act on. And it worked. I lost weight, I got more active, my mental health vastly improved. I read more, I felt like I had more time in my life, and it made me believe I could build anything by simplifying everything. Which brings us here. If you're here, it's probably because you struggle to feel productive. You may be anxious, stressed, stagnant, struggling. I know how it feels, but whatever it may be, it's good that you're here. This is unitive, and it's how I've been personally taking back a bit of control. A self-improvement business, and one I truly believe in. And this time, I'm bringing you with me with one goal. To get me out of my childhood dream. The dreaded office job. So, I created a basic website, basic adverts, some short-form content, and got going. The goal at the start was to understand whether anyone was interested, how short-form content worked for advertising, and to test whether the website and proof of concept product actually works. Now, here's the first thing I learned. I have not got a clue what I'm doing. One of these ones. Maybe that one. Could have been that one. One of them. The office. By following my childhood dream of monotonous employment, I've learned how to work well in a company. I've learned some product skills, lots of soft skills, and some foundational stuff, but beyond that, I know nothing. And frankly, I needed help. So I got in touch with someone who does know what they're doing. This is my friend Alex, and he works in meta advertising, primarily. How does it feel to be head of marketing? It feels really good. Yeah. I'll ask me again later. We set up an ad run together, ran it for a couple of days with these really simple ads that I created, and then we discussed the output. I mean, I mean, the good thing is, I set myself up, spent 100 quid, and I spent less than 50. When I do the, the next round is firstly, is there a problem with the fact that it's free? Accessing the community and being able to get into like an account, like a set of account pages within the website or within an app. There's so much free shit that actually if you're offering something for free, you need to be able to get something straight away off the back of that as opposed to just like a fucking welcome email. I almost want to come up with the second iteration of the product, which I'm working on at the moment, because the first iteration is a bit shit. Now we can hone the creatives and the, the audience to optimise for that. Good morning, everyone. It's day four, we've got our first proper sign up. I'm absolutely buzzing. After posting about 20 TikToks, spending 53 pounds on ads and getting our first organic sign up, who didn't actually engage with the product at all, here's what we've learned. Even with adverts that don't really tell you what's going on, we got some sign ups. People either want to self improve or anyone will put their details in for anything. The website is not drawing any sign ups, all of them came through a different form. It needs a complete rework. And the adverts with effort put in worked best. That one's a shocker. Realistically though, we only got 15 signups in total, none of which got involved with the product. For a free, hyper-personalized service, 
that's not going to break me free from the 9 to 5. So either there's not enough proof that it works backing it up yet, I'm the only proof, and to be honest, I'm not much, or people don't really know what I'm offering, or the current product is just too shit to convert people, or it's just not a good enough idea. But you've not sat here for five minutes to watch me completely fuck this up. This is about escaping, not giving up. So here's how we're going to tackle this. We're going to go and get proof that this actually works. This is Harry. Hi, I'm Harry. And my plan is to make him my beta test. Does the unitive way of self-improvement only work for me or is it actually good? Subscribe to see how that experiment goes. The test we'd already done also made me really sit down and go, what the fuck actually is the product? So far, I'd not really made my mind up on that. We had a six step process, we'd help people through it, we'd have some sort of community, but that's not a product. So I fleshed it out. I reworked the definition of the product, I reworked the scope, I worked out what I actually wanted to offer, and it came out to a personalized one-to-one -one coaching service a platform with exclusive self-improvement resources only available to members and a community of like-minded individuals who actually give a shit about your success. After a whole load of getting things wrong, it finally felt like I'd ticked the first box. I'd rallied. And I wasn't stopping there. The initial failure showed me that while working with Harry will be great, it won't be enough. We need to test more, we need to learn how to market the product, and we still need to know whether people care enough to actually get involved. So we're going to put more ads out, we're going to keep improving the product, and we're going to look at the biggest question of them all. Will anybody actually pay for it? And I'll be doing all of that while continuing my own self-improvement journey, documenting it all through my videos using the Unitive method. So if you want to stay up to date, with Unitive as a project, my self-improvement, or most importantly, my quest to categorically avoid my childhood dream, subscribe to the channel and leave any feedback you can think of. We're all in this together.